Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In previous video tutorial, we had uh, talked about the row set and its uh, types. So how many types of row sets are there in JDBC? So we had talked about there are five row sets uh, in JDBC. So in this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to perform select as well as insert operation using JDBC row set and that is the first type of row set and that is a connected row set right so let's start so first of all you have a row set provider it's a class which belongs to the I can show you this belongs to the java x dot sql dot row set package and this class basically provides a static method is called new factory so it's a, it follows the factory design pattern and this returns the object of row set factory and once you get the row set factory then you can go to the row set factory if you press ctrl o then you can see there are five methods to create different type of row set so in this video tutorial we are going to see how to work with the uh, jdbc row set so i want to create jdbc row set by calling this method create jdbc row set and still you have a rest of the four uh, types of uh, row set so let's create object of jdbc row set by calling its method create jdbc row set and this returns you the reference of uh, jdbc row set now once you get the reference of jdbc row set then jdbc has a lot of setters and getters method so let's call its setter method get sorry set url and here we can set uh, database url which i have declared on the top of the class now let's set uh, database username and here is the database username and uh, you can set database password as well database password and uh, uh, in previous video tutorial uh, and in, in past video tutorial we have seen how to connect from the database right so if i can show you this project here uh, in this project i have shown you how to take connection from the data database like this and first of all i i was trying to load the i was trying to register the appropriate driver by calling class dot for name uh, but from java 6 onwards this line is not required anymore right when you call get connection with on driver manager that will find the appropriate driver available in your class path if you have added this jar in your class python that will be registered automatically so even though if you comment uh, from the java 6 onwards or jdk 4 onwards then this uh, driver manager itself will register the driver this line of code is not required anymore so here also i'm not going to write this line of code right i'm not going to explicitly register jdbc driver so we required only database url username and password right now now first of all i would like to select data from database so here database i'm going to use jdbc db and i can show you my database jdbc db here is a table is called employee which contains three records so i want to perform select operation on this table so jdbc row set is having a method is called something is called set command and set command takes an uh, a string argument this is nothing but the i'm going to write a select query so select a star from employee table right it's a simple select sql query now once you set the command and database information in jdbc row set then uh, we can up, uh, we can call a method is called execute method so if you compare this method with the method which is available with the same name in statement prepare statement and call level statement that is a bit different when you call execute method on result set the jdbc row results here so basically this select data from database and that will put into the jdbc row set so now we can apply a while loop and we can uh, iterate through the 
JDBC row set and we get the result. So directly JDBC row set has a method is called next and uh, this line of code I, am, I want to retrieve value for every column. So this line of code we can copy from our previous example. So we had a lot of example we had created in past video tutorial. So I'm going to create co copy some code from here. Right. So basically this code snippet what does basically that selects data from the different column and that is storing in the local variable. So now this variable will have to change. So press control Alt Shift R to rename this variable. So in one sort I have renamed. Now that's all. So we have written a select operation, right? Now if I run it, then let's see what is happening. So all three records is getting selected from the database. So there are three records available in the database. All three records we are selecting. Now let's refactor this code. So this code I'm gonna refactor. So let's select this code and right click and go to the refactor and extract method and give the you can give the method name uh, show employees info. That's it. And this is so employee info. After refactoring, let's run once more, and you'll get the almost same result, right? Yeah. Now we have seen how to perform select operation using uh, JDBC row set. Now, as I said, uh, JDBC row set is a type of connected row set. Means uh, by default, JDBC row set is scrollable and updatable. So if you want to insert some new record into the uh, JD, uh, database using JDBC row set, then you can do that, right? You can perform uh, entire CRUD operation using JDBC row set. But in this video, we'll see select as well as insert. So just I want to insert uh, new records. And next video, we'll see how to perform uh, delete and update using JDBC row set. So let's try to insert a new record into JDBC. So what I'll do, uh, once we select data from the database using JDBC row set and once this loop is getting ended then end of the loop your result set will point to the after last record so what I'll do I'll put uh, this uh, I, I, uh, a result set pointer I want to put before after iterating just I want to put this uh, result set cursor before the first record right now let's try to insert a record into the database so let's set uh as not set but update you will have to use update method update string and here you can specify the column name so column name i'm going to specify employee underscore name and employee underscore name i'm going to pass tommy so we have uh, almost one, two, three, four, five, five columns, right? Uh, uh, so I'm going to set values for all five columns except employee ID because this is auto incremented. Now, similarly, we can set values for the email, right? So this column name is email, and I would say Tommy dot uh, CS at the date com. now what else uh, we have a salary salary date of joining and bonus so let's set values for this column as well so set uh, sorry not set but update update double right salary is date, 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 date double so I would say column name salary and salary I'm gonna set 56,000 Okay. Now what else? Set after Sally we have a date of joining. So update date and update date. This takes basically uh, date of joining and this takes basically date uh, from sql java dot sql right java dot sql dot date 
so we will have to create instance so let's uh, here will instead of date let's try to set time stamp right in previous video tutorial we have set uh, date so here we are going to set time stamp so new uh, now this date we are going to take basically this method takes data uh, date from the java.sql so now this here we will have to pass java dot uh, util sorry uh, util dot date so here also you need to create an instance of this right so this is also one way to it uh, import date and here uh, sorry so default constructor we can use and we can call uh, get time method on it so this will basically save the so here instead of date you will have to say uh, time stamp set uh, update time stamp so this is also another method now last uh, we will have to set bonus of the employee as well so i would say update big decimal right because our bonus is type of big decimal so big decimal and here we can create instance of big decimal big decimal and here we can pass values like 4000 right so almost we have set as values for all columns right now what i'll do so to insert a record into database first of all we will have to call uh, move to insert this is very much similar to the when we have made uh, result set updatable right so when we had learned uh, when you want to record uh, uh, we were, when we want to insert a record using uh, jdbc result set then we did the almost similar right and now once you set values for all columns then i will have to call insert row that's it okay and now after inserting row you, you can do you can put jdbc cursor uh, before the first row right so before the first row and uh, uh, again we can call this method uh, we can call this method after inserting we would like to verify the database whether record has been inserted or not so we can call this method pretty straightforward now what we can do let's try it out so uh, before that uh, what we can do we can we can uh, uh, refactor this course or refactor and i would say add employee right so this looks very neat and clean here yeah now let's run it now okay and you can see uh, i'm getting some exception let's see why i'm getting date of joining okay column name i have given wrong so let's change it date of joining now let's run and here we got the output initially we had three records after insertion uh, we are getting a fourth record has been added right whatever information so in this video tutorial you have learned how to perform insert as well as select operation right uh, using the jdbc row set so thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial with uh, uh, a new concept like we'll see some more concept in uh, jdbc row set now we still will see how to in uh, how to update as well as uh, delete a record from the database this code i am going to upload on the github and github location i will specify in the video description if you like this video then please do subscribe my youtube channel and thanks for watching this video